Another Shadow Strike. You're roaming Queen of Pain. Has the Scream of Pain. Might be able to get a kill, but also has to be worried about the potential turn from a Test of Faith. Even the old man, Fear, gonna get involved. Now there's the trap. Could be your first blood for EG. Oh, it is. man. The Troll Trap just catches him off guard, and down he goes. Nice quick lockdown comes out, and they're gonna be able to take the Tombstone. That's an additional win. Still online and ready to go, but Swindle makes a move forward. Does pop the dust. Maybe Universe not expecting that one here, as he does have to step away. Nice pounce connection from Ziz. The Hand of God will be forced to come out, but here comes trouble in the form of Sumail, and he easily cleans out the two of them and makes it a double. Quick rotation from him. He profits big time. EG just tower. coming in from behind. There's a jump in from Sumail in Universe. It could be caught. Squee very low. Gonna get the heal. They managed to take down Universe. Sumail could be in trouble. But now dusted. Tombstone drop. Finger blasted. They get them that's, down. That's too aggressive. EG. Dice from Sumail. And now the zombies hunting AUI a little bit. They're gonna send back PPD. They might lose AUI here as well. Leap forward. Zombie still chasing, man. This is a rabid pack of beasts. He'll pop the mech. He'll try to turn with the creeps, but it's AUI who falls as well. And while that was happening, the Knicks also went down. I, I didn't even see him die in the middle of that fight. Oh, fear could go as well. Bottom lane, Lena. Gonna get it one more auto attack. Not enough. Down to 30 think, life. Did he hit the blind on her? He actually missed. Oh, this oh. is the Dragon Slave, too. Oh, oh Ritsu. That would have been a gigantic swing. It still is, though. They get the three. Doesn't bottom stop tower AG, though. From pushing, there's going to be committed jump BKB, and wow, Lion goes down immediately. Now Lina could be in trouble. There's going to be the follow up stun from the Nyx. It's leading a lot. Shadow Blade steps away. Sumail's BKB could end, while Ziz getting caught up in arms with the back lines. Very low. Forced to use the Shadow Dance to walk away. Sumail ends up going down. Lion buy, had to buy back for this defense right now. Oh, they oh. stole the blink, though, and they're yeah. going to look to turn it here. Impale coming out on two, trying to match. Fear takes the Laguna Blade, still is the Aegis, though. You don't want to overcommit on that troll, and now Queen of Pain down. Make it a two for one. Buy back on the TAs. They look to turn it. They match the stun PPD, just barely clipping him with Ritsu. Now Zizzy leaping away. EG of overextended. They're going to lose their next the Chen as well. Everybody on the way out. Fear hangs on to the Aegis, and Sumail is told to get the hell out because there's nobody left to join for the push. Sideswipe, but PPD's ready with the Century Ward. Quap Bolt coming out, not doing much. Now the Tombstone deployed. They bring the old man low. They blow the Laguna on his Aegis, though. And now a BKB Sumail goes in onto Squeal. Stun misses wildly, but it doesn't matter because Sumail gets the kill anyway. Now chasing onto Ziz. One big leap up to the high ground. They'll let him live. In fact, the Tombstone again driving them back. They did not get Rax here. They lose two for one, and... And do they stick around? They might want to go back in, but I don't really think they got the firepower for this Dakota. Sizz, Sizz is coming, though. I don't think he knows yeah. the Nyx is here. He's going to Midas the Chen creep. They're still creeping forward like they want to go on Z-Freak, but now they're kind of pincered in between him and Sizz. They're going to find Z-Freak. They blow him up with the mana burn, and now the Slark to leap away. Make it a, a two for two, but now they've waited out the Aegis. They hang on to their racks, and... They should have that Lena. Lays out the ultimate, the first Rax near fall. And there's Ziz. Jumps in, gets caught with the net. Fear wants to make it go on to Swindle. Doesn't catch him. Goes back towards the Rax. We'll be able to finish off the one. Back. Big stun, catches two. And Squeeze gonna go down. No buyback from him. Out and for the a Laguna full minute. getting wasted on refraction. Not oh, ideal here man. from Ritsu. And now the team may fall apart. Sumail pops the cheese, hangs on. Slark comes roaring in, brings him low with the leap, but can't finish the job. Has the Shadow Blade. Can't even use it. That micro by AUI doesn't even need the second stun. They get three kills, no buybacks. They will manage to crack this complexity base, and they may even get a second lane of Rax. The age is still preserved. Looks like they'll send fear back. They've gotten what they came for, and well, the tombstone usage coupled with the glyph being popped just gives them a little window and push onto the high ground. No headlong chasing. They get the hex on fear. Squee going in. So to a swim. The Laguna coming out. They get the first kill in the Rubik to start the fight. As this tries to engage with pop his ultimate. But who does he actually kill during this time? Oh, tries to go onto Sumail. Latches onto him. Leaps to the high ground. Gets a little scared and runs away. Now Sumail being focused. Pursued. Not brought down yet. Swindle gets the job done. They brought down two. But in the meanwhile, Universe was diving the base. They've killed three on the side of complexity for EG. And that... Queen of Pain. No, no buyback for her. If she dies again, that's a dieback. Yeah. Swindle makes the long journey Radiant's all the way around the back. world. Ziz going to TP attack. home, but by the time they get back to Coda, there won't be much to call home. Here comes Fear. And he'll Radiant's bang away on this melee box. rex. He will That's take fine. it. EG do want to end order. this. Sumail bought back even. Now he's back into the base. That rex Radiant's to fall. They could go to the bottom fallen. and finish it out. Nope, never mind. It's been done for them. So 
Both sets of racks down. Evil Genius is now pressed towards tier fours. They're trying to force complexity into submission at this point Radiant for game number one of this fortified. best of three. Evil Genius continue to show dominance here, attack. like expected, but complexity did give him a little bit of a run Radiant's there from the early and mid game. But once Aoi was able to get that Agnum Scepter, once EG was able to claim the majority of the Roche grabs, there was no stopping him here, and it looks like there's going to be no stopping him now. Both Tier 4 is down, rejuvenated from the hand of God. There's a Tombstone. That's cute. It's done now, though. <laughs> now it's just, just food. Yeah, oh, it's man. just easy money in the pocket of Evil Geniuses. It looks like they're going to be able to chop their way through game number one. And there you have it. Evil Geniuses take the first win. And it looks like they're going to be moving on to match point for game two. Yeah, EG had a really good start to this game. And I'm sure they'll look at it and say, we could have ended it more cleanly. We could have avoided some of those deaths from Sumail, especially.